Hello there friends and followers and welcome to this Explain 11 video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Just Flight Piper 28 Archer 3. Now I've had this aircraft for quite some time. In fact I purchased it when it first came out and I don't know, I haven't done a review of it. So in the past few days I fiddled around with it, I took it for a few flights and uh, I'm quite impressed with this aircraft. So let's take a closer look at this uh, Piper 28 by JustFly. As it is always the case, we're going to begin by taking a look at the exterior 3D modeling and the texture work. And uh, JustFly has done a very good job really modeling this aircraft. If you look at the landing gear area, uh, the overall 3D model is a very authentic model. I'm not sure about the application of PBR on the aircraft wings. It doesn't look very realistic to me. Uh, but the glass reflection looks phenomenal on this aircraft. Really, uh, the texture work overall is done to a very high standard. Just Flight, without a doubt, has done a phenomenal job with the interior texture and 3D modeling. As you can see, everything here is modeled to perfection. The reflective glass, the reflective instrument, the use of PBR, everything really has been done uh, with a great attention to detail. Uh, all the knobs, the switches and the gauges, the flight yoke, uh, really the seats here, uh, the aircraft door, uh, the dash, just really look at that, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, really uh, brilliant work by Just Flight. And, and they do create, all of the aircraft that they've created so far um, are modeled quite well. Uh, and this one is no exception, of course. The nice thing about this aircraft, it is equipped with the uh, Garmin GTN 750, uh, which is always a nice addition uh, to any aircraft. If we look at the uh, back here, again, uh, very nicely modeled aircraft uh, all around. Uh, very nice indeed, really. Look at the, uh, the door latch here. Uh, everything really looks uh, very good. Everything looks uh, very authentic as well. And uh, I really like what they've done with this aircraft. Uh, very, very nice indeed. In terms of features, this Just Flight features uh, a control panel similar to all the other aircraft they released for um, X-Plane 11. Uh, this one here opens the aircraft door, uh, cargo doors. This will uh, pop up the um, FMC. You can turn off the glass reflection if you're suffering from frames as well as instrument reflections. Uh, this is the dome light. Uh, I'm going to let you guys um, actually fiddle around with this. This is very important, the auto fuel switch, because this aircraft requires that you switch fuel tanks every 15 minutes. And so if you're forgetful like I am, it's probably a good idea to have the auto fuel um, uh, switching um, on automatic. Uh, you of course can start this aircraft from a uh, cold and start to uh, from a cold and start state immediately to ready for takeoff. There is a full checklist from pre-flight to shutdown. You've got the flight computer for uh, looking at the outside temperature, endurance range, and so on and so forth. And uh, of course, you can uh, also toggle the logbook. Uh, from within the control panel. Uh, you've got a tow feature as well and you can remove the uh, chocks and the ground equipment uh, by clicking here. So what we're going to do now, we are in the beautiful uh, island of Corfu and we are going to take this aircraft for a short flight to put it to the test. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn on the alternator. Battery switch is on mixture on full rich we're going to crack the throttle just a bit and we're going to select the left fuel tank and we're going to turn on the fuel pump which is right here and we're going to hit on start magneto left start and we have a good start and then the right magneto switch as well pedo heat and Radio Master. Very, very nice. Uh, the lighting is done quite well uh, on this aircraft. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to proceed to runway 35 here at Corfu. 
and uh, we're going to depart, make a few turns. Uh, we're going to test the stall behavior of the aircraft and the night lighting and so on and so forth. And then we'll head back to the airport and land. So let's release the parking brake and let's head over to the runway. All right, we're making the turn here to runway 35. And let's go ahead and turn on the landing lights oops, and strobe lights. And let's get lined up. Okay, we are ready to go and let's give it full power. I'm touching on the controls, it probably needs a response curve adjustment. We're going to rotate it about 60 knots. There we go, 60 knots. Aircraft a bit here. Tell you, I like flying this aircraft. It feels very fluid. Okay, let's reduce power a bit here. Beautiful scenery by Fly Tapa. Too bad they've decided not to continue development of uh, X-Plane scenery. Well, let's make a turn here. And we're going to take it to about a thousand feet. Very, very nice scenery indeed by uh, Fly Tampa. The aircraft is pretty fluid, I'll tell you that, and uh, we're going to do a few tests now, just as soon as uh, we pass 1,000 feet. There we go, 1,000 feet, and the we're going to leave the airport to our right, and we're going to head straight uh, so that we can uh, come back and land. That's the airport. Perfect. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a stall test. Uh, I'm going to pitch up and completely put the power on idle. All right, let's pitch up. There goes the warning sign. Well, I'm not sure if this was the uh, stall warning or something else, but uh, I, <laughs> I I don't know if that's the realistic um, stall behavior of the aircraft, or perhaps I'm not doing the right thing uh, to make it stall. Um, that's more than likely the uh, stall warning uh, sound. All right, let's make a uh, slight turn to the left, and we're going to give it a little bit of rudder here. Very, very fluid aircraft. And we're going to do the same thing to the right. Extremely fluid. Very, very responsive. I'll tell you, it's a lot of fun flying this aircraft uh, from experience. Uh, I'll tell you that this aircraft is immense fun if you like general aviation aircraft. I'm not really sure why I haven't. Uh, you know, given due attention to this aircraft, it's a really great aircraft by uh, JustFly. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to begin the turn momentarily and land. So let's uh, turn the aircraft for landing, and we want to shoot uh, for 66 knots for uh, landing this aircraft. And by the way, as far as the uh, preset I'm using, the X-Vision preset I'm using in this video is the Nordic Extreme for Lua. 
So uh, it has uh, slightly nicer sky colors in my view. All right, and let's see here. The runway is to our right now. I just absolutely adore this uh, scenery. There we go, that's the runway. Reduce our speed here. Landing flaps. And we want to maintain about, uh, oh, we almost hit that line. All right, here we go. And power to idle. Very nice indeed. Lots of fun to fly this aircraft. Now this is a short review of this aircraft. Uh, I know it's been out for quite some time, but I thought it's worthy of a video to show it to you guys. And I hope that from what you've seen, you're able to decide uh, whether this aircraft is for you or not. Um, if you ask me, it's uh, an aircraft that I would recommend for general aviation enthusiasts. Uh, really a lot of fun to fly. I've done a full flight uh, with this aircraft. Um, and I really uh, had a lot of fun flying it. So what I do want to show you is uh, I want to show you a couple of things. I want to show you the lights uh, during nighttime. Let me set the parking brake here. Um, let me change the time. Okay, there we go. And right, okay, there we go. Avionics and the switches. Now, look at that. That is very, very nice indeed. That looks really good. I think there is a dome light here. Yeah, look at that. Very nice indeed. I really like the lights on this aircraft. I think uh, it's done quite well. Um, just Flight really have done a very good job remodeling this aircraft and it is fun to fly as well so let me see if this is uh, yeah so we can do that as well here wow blue light there we go let's kill this one and look at that very very nice indeed I really like uh, this aircraft and uh, Definitely, if you're looking for a general aviation aircraft, uh, this aircraft will uh, definitely bring uh, a lot of immersion to, uh, uh, to your flying experience in X-Plane. Another thing I want to show you is the rain effect. Here's the uh, rain effect on this uh, aircraft, as you can see. Uh, again, it's nicely done. It's similar to the Zebo and all the other aircraft that we've been seeing uh, lately. Um, but yeah, um, overall, uh, pretty good aircraft, uh, very well modeled, uh, quite immersive, fun to fly, and it's got the Garmin GTN 750 uh, device here, uh, if you're a fan of, uh, uh, of the Garmin 750, then you can definitely use it. I award this Piper 28 Archer 3 by just flying a final score of 8 out of 10. Until next time, please take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you all very soon. Thanks for watching, and bye-bye for now.